Hello. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tabekia. Y'all might think I'm real hood because I have a big thing of Vaseline at home. And so when I be traveling, I don't be having my Vaseline. And y'all put Vaseline on my lips like probably I know 50 times a day. I know 50 times today I put Vaseline, Vaseline on my lips. So anyway, I got real hood with it. And I was like, I need some Vaseline ASAP. I think we went to Memphis or whatever. And I was like, I'm going to need some Vaseline when I get down there. And I didn't want to take the whole thing. Because I lost the top to the, to the thing. So I just put it in here. And now I got it in my car. But anyway, let's jump into this video. Um... Welcome back to my channel. I hope everything's lovely with you guys. I've missed you guys. I have been busy, busy, busy. Um, it is raining. It's ugly out. I thought I had some a booger in my eye. But anyway, it's raining. It's ugly out or whatever. And I was like, I hadn't did anything on YouTube and I need to. By the way, I don't know if y'all can see it, but y'all make sure y'all shop with my bros. Ow! <sighs> y'all make sure y'all shop with my broski. D-man, mizzle money. Mizzle money, money mode. He out here doing his thing. Y'all make sure y'all shop with him and get your five threads, five tees. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um... Anyway, yeah, so I was like, let me jump on YouTube real quick and, you know, let these people know what I got going on. Um, yeah, so boom, let's jump right on into it. Basically, what I was saying was since the last time you guys seen me, we was in um, Memphis. And since then, the school season or, you know, of course, school started back. We were out of school for the holidays and stuff like that. No, it wasn't a holiday. Anyway, school started back and I started back school. Um, I just got back in college, like I said before, and I am going for my associates in business. And yeah, I'm super excited about that. I just, you know, God is good. I was told to get on here and try to tell my testimony. I'm going to just say a little bit real quick and we're going to go from there. But yeah, so... Where do we start? Okay, let's just get into it. Story time. Let's get into it. Because I don't know why I'm feeling all nervous. Like, I can't just talk to y'all. Like, we just not. I mean, we right here. So, I should be able to talk to you guys. So, Holy Spirit, fill my lips with what you will have me to say, Father God, to your people. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Um. Yeah, so. At the age of 17, I got pregnant Um, with my first son, Cadence. Guys, you probably see my oldest son. He looks just like me. But, yes, I got pregnant with Cadence. Um, I was a junior in high school, a three-year homecoming court, good uh, volleyball team. Just, I was really thriving in high school. No, I wasn't perfect, I, you know, I was, but I was thriving. I was passing my grades. Um, I was, so, what I was saying was I wasn't a perfect student, but I was definitely thriving and passing my grades. And I'm very social. I, I know I was good. I was thriving in the social part. Um... But anyway, so long story short, I'm sorry, guys. I am outside my son's school. I just dropped him off, and I was like, look, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. But anyway, so, yeah, I got with my baby daddy. My baby daddy. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, so I got, actually, he was my husband. But we got together, and we got Cadence, and um, I was a junior in high school, and you know, he wasn't in school. It was a lot of things that he wasn't doing. He was homeschooled or whatever. And I wanted to be there with him the whole time. You know, I really thought that fairy tales, you know, oh, we could just be together forever and no working and we just go be together. Like, you know, I had no idea about the real world, no idea about having kids young and 
what that brings no idea about none of that like if i would have really known what the life would have brought me like the next year or two i would have stayed my tail in school but i quit school lo and behold is what i'm trying to say i quit school and i moved to huntsville um with him and we got married so we were married for a little while never went back to school started automatically hustling and i'm not gonna lie i was already hustling in high school before i even got pregnant i was doing piercings in the bathroom um piercing all the students up um making clothes i just i've always been hustling I always hustled I always been creative okay so but when i got with him it took it to another notch because i wasn't in school i wasn't working i was pregnant you know just had, no i just had a baby or whatever well shortly after maybe a year i had another baby which is kingston my youngest son still ain't went back to school but by the time i got with kingston i start trying to you know tap into a, you know i would hear family all the time hey you need to get your gd you need to get your gd okay becky you ain't gonna be able to do this you ain't gonna be able to do that you better get that gd and it was i was hearing it so much that it became redundant to me like i didn't want to hear it no more um so sorry so long story short i'm trying not to like draw this out too long but long story short i did get in several gd programs and they just didn't work for me like at all at all i couldn't understand what they was talking about i didn't i didn't feel you know i don't even know if i even wanted to be there maybe the passion wasn't there i didn't maybe i didn't think i needed it i i don't think that i didn't think i needed it i just think that i had suppressed myself so much i felt so discouraged from school because at that point it was like i know my oldest son was like three and my youngest is like one or two excuse me so at that point it's like four years like no about yeah almost four about three and a half years from being out of school and i kind of just was like oh my god i don't know none of this stuff and it was all at once so I got discouraged. Anytime people would talk about it, I would just leave the conversation. Like I didn't want to address the fact that anything about school, it was a it was an insecurity, it was a soft spot, it was one of those spots that I didn't want to touch and I took away forever. So instead of like really finding my inner confidence about school, I started finding hustles. Like oh I'm gonna do this today. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Like I started hustling, which is a great thing. Like I appreciate you know those insecurities because they definitely sharpened my hustle my networking like all that other stuff so long story short um yeah it was about four or five years later my oldest son was five i found out about the program atlanta job corps um and i found out through a friend that's my one of my great friends we we're still friends to this day Shyler, shout out to you if you're watching um and yeah, I went to Atlanta Job Corps. It was so different. But see, the thing about it was the difference between Job Corps and GD programs and things of that nature um, was Job Corps was actual uh, school experience. Like I was able to go there, have classmates, have friends, um, you know, extracurricular things. It was just like it created a whole environment that I got that schooling again. And it made me, it gave me something to look forward to rather than GD. It was like in a box. It was just, you know, us and the teachers. It was very, you know, there was no interaction at all. Like it was just straight you and them five, six, seven different subjects in that book. And that's it. And you know, of course, some people that works for them, but I'm a social butterfly. Like, I need to have something to look forward to, to go and see in that day. And I don't know why I'm like that, but that's just what I am. It, it motivated me to do the work. It motivated me to um, <clears throat> thrive because I could thrive in that environment and not get distracted. Because some people like, you know, that, that are social butterflies, they get distracted in those environments. Me, I thrive. I'm like... Oh, I see your class, girl. You know, da, 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 da. and then did you get your homework? Oh, I got mine. What y'all do? You know, it was just it's just how I do it. Um, so long story. Oh, I can't keep saying that. So basically, yes, I a year and a half later, I graduated from Atlanta Job Corps with my high school diploma in a business and finance trade. Because when you go to Job Corps, you have to take a trade. 
um whether it's and i'm gonna promote them real quick because i love job core and they changed my life um you can get your cnn you can get chef culinary you can get business and finance you can get construction or it's like welding i'm not sure but they have a lot and it, as long as you're under 24 years old you can go there and thrive i promise you in in Mine is actually shut down now. Atlanta Job Corps, they're shut down. It was an all-girls campus. So it was all all girls dormitory. But the um civilians or yeah, the civilians of Atlanta, the residents of Atlanta, the guys and stuff, they could come during the day, like a regular school and go back home. But girls stayed on campus. So it was girls from everywhere. New York, Cali. I got a friend. Shout out to Linnell in Arizona. Like it was just a, a whole experience. And I appreciate that experience so much. It changed my life. So shortly after that, um, I went to Virginia College for cosmetology. Long story short, I was basically, I still had this fear of education. Like I had a huge fear of learning. Like I didn't fully apply myself. I didn't fully get my toes wet with it because it was like, or put not even my toes. I wouldn't put my ankle in there um, because I was scared of failing again. I was scared of. You know, I don't know what really was the surface or the root of it, but I was really scared of, of being, of putting myself back in a vulnerable position of trying to learn again. Um, I felt like it was too far away. Like, it, uh, you know, I've been out of school five years. I've been out of school this, I did that, and I did this. Oh, I didn't even really get it over there. And, you know, just excuses and fear and all these things. And so... You know, I went to Virginia College. Don't get me wrong. I didn't just in my th brain say, oh, I'm going to just put myself in a box. Let's go do cosmetology. I was kind of really thrown into that. And it worked out. And I appreciate Virginia College because it taught me um, structure as far as time. I was, I was, I really wasn't fully applying myself in Virginia College either the best that I could have. Now, I did good. I passed on my, I passed and, and graduated, but I could have fully applied myself way better. But what I can say is it taught me the structure of being on time. Cause see, we were on a time, um, time, I don't know the word for it, but we couldn't miss a day. We couldn't show up 10 minutes late. Cause that 10, you clocked in, you clocked in, you clocked out. You were on time. You, you were measured by your time and you had to have 1500 hours in order to complete it. So if you didn't get it that week, you got to go on Saturday school or you got to go on, you got to stay after some on the weekdays. So that taught me, okay, to Becky, to basically to my attendance that taught me to, you got to be here. So, um, I appreciate Virginia college for that structure of being there, like having to be there. Um, my phone is blowing up. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm popular, but uh, <laughs> I just like, but yeah, I appreciate Virginia College. I graduated from there. No, guys, I went and tried. Let me tell y'all this, too. The whole reason of me being, I have a passion for makeup. I love to play. I used to play in my hair. I used to dye my hair all kind of different colors. If you've, you've been following me for a while, you know I've been blonde. I've been all the colors. And now I'm letting it grow. But, um... But I wasn't there to really do hair. I never thought, you know, oh, I'm going to go and open a salon or do hair. Like, I never, you know, really had a passion, passion for doing hair. But I do have a passion for makeup. And I do have a passion for beauty industry. I, I love, you know, throwing up. I don't know if you guys know, I've started a nonprofit. I love doing, you know, little girl uh, slumber parties. We're doing glitter. We're doing pedicures. We're painting nails. Like, that stuff came in handy. I needed the structure of a real cosmetology school to know how to go about doing it the right way but i never really wanted to take it serious and you know i don't know why and maybe that's not god's calling for me and maybe it will be one day but i did go on to um my career i'm in now and all this other stuff but yes i say all this to say let me wrap it on up because we're getting a little too long um i'm back in school I'm so excited to be in back, be back in school. Um, it feels so good. I've literally faced my fear. Um, I I wanted to stay in a box of small schools, box of you know tech schools and things of that. And now I'm in like a legit college, and it feels good because this is something that I never thought that I could uh, could do. Like I never. This is a dream. And to some people, it's like what. To me, this is a dream come true because I thought this would never happen. 
Anyway, my iPad cut off. I ran out of storage or whatever. <clears throat> Let's just wrap this up so I can edit it and throw it up. I love y'all. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for tuning in to me. I'm going to keep it funky with you from way back then. I was keeping it funky. I'm going to still keep it funky. I'll let you guys know my testimony, my story, because it's not for me. It's for the glory of the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Jesus Christ. So um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for everything, guys. I truly do appreciate it. I love y'all so much. And just know, don't limit yourself. Don't put yourself in a box. Like ever since I've been sitting in class, I'm like, I might as well go ahead and go full throttle. Like, I want to do all this stuff I said I couldn't do. I want to apply myself and try it. And I think that that's the moral of the story. That's the whole point of me being on here now to tell you guys, go for broke. Go for broke. Go for it. What do you have to lose? Go for it. Don't limit yourself. Don't put yourself in a box. I don't care where you've been, what you've seen, where you're at now. Don't stop. Go. Keep going. And let me be a witness to tell you it gets better and you can do it in the name of Jesus. I love y'all. Thank you for watching me. And we out.